it's Amelia and in today's video I'm going to review the various KDP reports that's Kindle Direct Publishing reports that are available for the books that you have self-published or you're about to self-publish on Kindle Direct Publishing including viewing sales activity, revenue, and more. Let's get started. So in order to access KDP reports, you have to log in to your KDP account. To log into KDP, if you have not set up your KDP account yet, I have a KDP overview that explains how to set up your account, and I'll put information in the description how you can access that video. If you're already logged in to Amazon, when you access the link, kdp.amazon.com it will automatically log you in to your KDP account providing that you have set that up. If you're not logged in to Amazon when you launch this link you want to click sign in and then proceed to sign in to your KDP account. Once logged in to KDP you're going to see a variety of links and features across the top here and to learn more about all these different features, I have a self-publishing course on KDP, and I'll leave information in the description below on course availability. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to focus on the reports option here at the top. When you first log in to KDP, it defaults to your bookshelf. So your bookshelf contains all the books that you've either already self-published or are about to self-publish. To get started with reports, click on reports at the top. From the reports option, you'll see your dashboard for the current date. And the first thing that it will show are your estimated royalties for today, today's orders, and today's KENP, that's Kindle Edition Normalized Pages Read. And those are the pages that customers read from your books if your books are available in Kindle Unlimited and the Kindle Lending Library. If you're enrolled in KDP Select for your books, then your ebooks would be available on those platforms. So in addition to seeing a summary of today's orders, you can also click View Royalties Estimator, View Orders, and a little bit more about the KENP Pages Read. We'll take a look at those in a moment. Below that, you could see your top earning books. So if more than three types of books sold, only the top three will show across here and it will give you some daily totals on those top three books. Beneath there, you will see some other helpful charts, including your top formats for the current month, including a breakdown of paperback, Kindle, and Kindle Unlimited, as well as your top marketplaces for the current month thus far. So if I click View Royalties Estimator, for the current month, it will show me my estimated royalties and a bar chart below. Now, it will default to a line chart, but you can change it by clicking here to a bar chart. And then below that, you're going to see a breakdown of all your books, your ebook royalties, print royalties, and your estimated. KENP royalties total and overall total royalties. Now to see countries where your book or books were sold, click on the book and it will provide additional information including the country and then a breakdown under the same columns. So by clicking on some other books, you can see if your book was sold in other countries and so forth. At the top, you also have various filtering options. So if you wanted to see last month, change by just clicking where it says this month, and you can change to any of these options, and I'll go ahead and select last month. Once you select the different date, you could see the difference in the line chart or the bar chart. 
as well as the royalty information. You can also filter if you have multiple authors in your account, specific books, marketplaces, formats, and distributions. And this would be if you have opted for the expanded distribution for your books, which is a check mark inside your book setup versus your straight Amazon sales. Expanded distribution pushes your book out. So various websites and avenues for additional book sales. To me, it's worth the expanded distribution option because it's free. And you can, again, you can check that option when you set up your book. You can also download the report here and change the currency. There's also a compare books options here, which changes the view of your line chart or your bar chart. It's a little tricky to see, but if you hover over, you can get an idea of the books and the royalty and further information. Let's take a look at some additional reports on the left panel. By clicking on orders, I would see the same listing of orders that I saw on the very first screen. I'll just go back to recap. Under reports, by clicking view orders, you can get to the same report. So there's usually multiple ways to get to the same statistics. The Kindle edition normalized pages read, as I mentioned, would show you any pages read for your ebooks for customers that borrowed your book from Kindle Unlimited and the Kindle Owners Lending Library. If you'd like to enroll your book in those platforms, if your book is enrolled in the Kindle Select feature, they would automatically be available on these platforms. There are pros and cons to using that method. For one, your book would get more exposure by being available on those platforms. The downside is you wouldn't receive as much royalty if somebody read 10 pages or you know 50 pages from your book versus buy your book outright. So I would recommend maybe trying KDP Select for one or two terms if you're new to KDP and weigh the odds and see if it makes a difference or not with your sales. With this report, which is similar than the orders report, Again, you can change the type of bar chart and you can also click to see the different countries where your book was spread. Let's take a look at the next report, month to date. Month to date will default to the current month. You can also change it to the previous month. This report includes information about your unit sales transactions and KENP read for the current or prior month. There's always links to read more about the type of report, which would take you to the help page so you can learn even more. You have filters here. In addition to the month, you can change to a specific format or a specific marketplace. You can also search by ASIN or book title. Next are the promotions report. The promotions report includes information about your Kindle countdown deals promotions. A Kindle countdown deal is one option that you can set up through KDP Select. I have a separate video on how to create a free book promotion and also a Kindle countdown deal. So I'll leave that information in the description below on how to access that video. The Kindle countdown deal basically is a price promotion where if your book is a price at $9.99, you can set up a Kindle countdown deal and run it for a certain amount of days, maybe 99 cents for two days, and then maybe $5.99 for two days, and then it would get bumped up to the final price. And then the free promo lets you make your book available, your ebook that is available for free for up to five days within the KDP select period, which I believe is 90 days. So any promotions that you set up would be listed here. So for example, I had set up these books to run a Kindle countdown deal from this date on the 7th to December 14th. It's a good reference for you so you can look back on your price promotions and compare your reports and see if it made a difference with your sales. Next are the pre-orders. 
So for a pre-order, if you are planning on self-publishing your book on KDP and you're still working on your book, you can still set up the book and then put the live date and then make your book available for pre-order. So this does a couple things and can work to your advantage. You can create a lot of buzz with your book and do pre-marketing and offer some freebies and encourage readers to order your book and then they will automatically receive a copy of your ebook on your launch date. The one thing you have to be careful of is that if you set a particular date for your book to go live and you change your mind and you need to change that date in the pre-order, if you do it, I believe like too many times, or I believe there's a limit to how often you can do it, you might be penalized. That had happened to me a few years back. I was working on a book and I knew I wasn't going to make the live date, so I changed and pushed back the live date for the pre-order and then I was told that because I had changed the date I think more than once then I was not able to use the pre-order option for a certain period of time I don't know I think that was maybe like three months or six months or something so just be careful of the rules the next type of report is the royalties estimator and this is the same report that you can get to from the get-go from the first screen where it says view royalties estimator it defaults to the current month again and you can change the date you can see it for all books and as i mentioned before there's all these different filters next is kindle vela dashboard so Kindle Vela is a story subscription service that lets you read serialized works of fiction written specifically for the platform. So it's designed for authors looking to take their episodes and turn them into longer content for their books. It's another new feature to explore in KDP. Also available is the prior month's royalties report. And this lets you choose almost up to a year back. So it's currently January, 2023, and you can go back as far as April, 2022. And this breaks down the marketplace, the currency, ebook royalties, paperback royalties, hardcover royalties, KENP, and your total royalties, and it breaks it down by marketplace. Next is the payments report, which includes information about payments that are either pending or that you've already received it's listed by marketplace it will list your payment status your payment date your payment method for instance direct deposit your net earnings and so forth so if you're just starting out with kdp once you start selling your books for instance if you started like in december and you sold books in december then you could expect to wait one to two months, possibly three months to see that royalty in your bank account initially. So give it a couple months and then once the royalty begins, then it would be a monthly royalty based on your book sales. Also available are old reports over here on the left panel. Now this is what the reports used to look like and it changed last year and has a new look to it. So you also have all these different filters. So for example, if you want to change it uh, based on one of these options, or if you want to go like the whole month of December um, or back a certain a different month, click on the month that you like, and then click on the first day and the last day, and then click apply. So what I liked about this is it kind of gives you a bird's eye view and shows you how you did for that period of time and also the different colors were helpful i always liked the expanded distribution which told me that a particular book sold via the expanded distribution also below this is information on the kindle edition normalized uh, pages read and again you have a newer report available on the original left pane there's also a historical which is a very good bird's eye view that shows you all your books that were sold over the whole period of time that you've self-published. 
and you can also filter it. So for instance, if I wanted to see particular titles, I can click on here and then that would show me one particular book. And then hovering over the bar graph will show you the total number of books for that title that were sold in that particular month. And then there's some other reports to explore, but again, I'm not sure how long the old reports display is going to be available. So you can give a look. And finally, there is a survey at the bottom. So they're always looking for feedback. So if you go through the different reports and you don't see something that you need, you want to fill out the survey and let KDP know your feedback. And then they're constantly improving their reports. So that's it for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and click the bell icon so you don't miss any new videos. Check the description below for related videos on KDP and course availability. I'll see you in the next video.